Hello to all. Welcome to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, we are going to learn how we can plot a scatter plot diagram into the Google Earth engine between two data sets with a trend line. So let's begin. So for this tutorial, we are going to use the two data sets that is elevation as a TMTM and the temperature that means modest lens surface temperature. So this temperature comes uh, with a scale factor of 0 0.02 and uh, the degree, uh, the units are in the Kelvin. So we need to convert this into scale factor of one with the uh, unit as a Celsius. So in the code editor, first of all, we will define our area of interest. Either you can import a shape file or you can simply define your geometry. So in the next line, what we have done, we have uh, call our image collection, that means models. We have filtered for a specific date. We have selected the uh, band. Then we have converted this image collection into a single image using the median function. Then we have multiplied each pixel by 0 0.02. So that incorporates the scale factor. And in order to convert from Kelvin to Celsius, we have subtract this each image, uh, each pixel by 273 degree. So 273.15 and we have converted this band as a temperature. The so next thing that uh, we have uh, importing is the SRTM digital elevation model with a band name elevation. And the next line, uh, we have combined these two bands, that means temperature and digital elevation uh, band into a uh, digital elevation model into a single image with the two different bands. Now, next task is to create a sample point with this uh, lines of function, we are creating approximately 2000 points over this particular area and these 2000 points will extract the value, the two values, one is for elevation and another is for temperature. And now we have to uh, plot these two values into a scatter plot. Uh, so for that purpose, we are going to use this UI chart feature by feature and the features are as the values because uh, the feature collection has the name values than in the X axis we are going to be use the elevation and in the y axis we are going to use the temperature and we will set the chart type as scatter plot so there are numerous of chart type if we just copy this and go to the docs and search for chart types so we can uh, see that uh, the various example of um, chart type into the google chart is the scatter line column chart and there are another type of charts which can be done uh, either in the google javascript node or into the google earth engine so uh, next thing that we have to uh, we have uh, done is the uh, we have created the uh, set options so that uh, we can play with the chart displaying option we have put the set point size at two the color as red and uh, the x axis as the elevation and the title of the y axis as temperature and another feature that we have added is the incorporation of trend line because sometimes for the scatter plot we need to provide the regression line so we have used the trend line and we have used the zero so that it will plot the trend line using all the data set and at last we are using the print chart we will just run and let's see what the data set has uh, coming so we are going to open this uh, chart into a separate. So we can see that uh, using uh, by seeing the scatter plot, most of the data points are with the area lesser than the 400 meter of elevation, and all of those data set has a temperature, median temperature as more than 26 degrees. And when we uh, increase our elevation, our temperature will decrease. And this is the common phenomena as we go to the higher elevation, the median temperature will eventually decrease. And this is the trend line because it's showing uh, the decreasing trend, that is why it is uh, in an inverted line. So this is how we can create a trend line and a scatter plot using the Google Earth engine. So this type of scatter plot can be, uh, this is very basic example using the temperature and elevation data you can use with the NDVI or temperature data set or NDVI with uh, rainfall data set, etc. Thank you. Hope you like the video. If so, then please hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.